Oh, oh no! Not again! I'm trying to play Five Nights at Freddy's. This time, I'm playing at 1 a.m. Last time I played out like in the afternoon, I closed all my windows. Like I put drapes on them and everything. It was all dandy and handy mandy. But uh, now I'm actually playing at 1 a.m. I'm home alone. I'm in a basement. I'm sure I'm going to cry. <laughs> Let's go. All right, the game froze. Uh, fantastic way to start. Ooh, it actually didn't freeze as bad as I thought. So, since last time I played this, I've learned some new things. Uh, Mr. Green Hippo informed me that whenever I see poop heads, all right, I'm gonna press X to hide tips. Whenever I see, whenever I see the evil dude trying to come kill me, I don't actually have to close the door, even though the game kind of hints, tells me like that. That's the instinctive thing to do, right? Apparently, you only close the door if you hear breathing. Which I guess makes sense. I'm going to turn volume. You guys probably see that. Um, which which I guess makes sense. Because if you hear breathing, I guess they're going to be like right in your face pretty much, right? But to me, it's like... I don't know. I just thought, you know... If you see a scary monster running down the hall trying to eat you alive... My first thought is like, you know, close the door. <laughs> Not trying to light at them and look at them, stare at them for the next two hours. That makes no sense to me at all. So... I, in the last episode, I asked you guys if I should play more of this, and I just generally got a response. Well, I got one comment <laughs> telling me if, pretty much if I'm going to play this game, prepare to poop my pants and such. But, um, it's only 1 a.m. Jeez, man, this is a slow-ass hour. Uh, I'm already kind of spooked a little bit. Um, yeah, what, what was I saying? Sorry, I got, I got a little bit spooked there for a moment. Crap, I don't know what to say. <laughs> well, whatever. Um, it's dark. I know how to play this properly now. Hopefully, I'll survive more than one night. It's always the issue with this game with me. I, I always immediately die for some reason. You guys like my path here. I'm just kind of doing the same things over and over and over again. I'm pretty sure nothing's going to happen until like 4 a.m. 5 a.m. I think is when I normally die. Unless I get really unlucky here. I, I don't know if this game is scripted or not yet, so I don't know if that, like, it seemed that way. Every time I play this game, I've played this, like, what, three or four attempts now? Shit always goes down at 5 a.m. Nothing happens till then. Sometimes I'll get some evil little assholes on the bed. Besides that, nothing really interesting happens. 2 a.m. Three more hours to go! Alright. I think I like this game a bit better than the other Five Nights at Freddy's as well. At least... Compared to one, like I said, I haven't really looked too much into the other two games. Um, I like how there's only you only have to worry about four sections. That's nice to me. Like uh, in the other games, you have to like watch like how many security cameras? A lot. Like I don't know, above ten, maybe ten. I don't know, but that's a lot to micromanage. And at that point, it's just stressful. It's not scary. It's stressful. Okay, it's like oh, I gotta watch this. No, I gotta look at this. No, I gotta look at this. And this, there's only four spots to click on. So that makes me kind of happy in the pants. I don't have to worry about you know freaking. Going through every single camera, remembering what has what on it. There's just four doors. Each are very distinctive. One's my bed, so that's it's really like three doors. I thought those flowers were freaking bloodstains, man. That kind of scared me a little bit. I'm not going to even lie. Were those flowers there before? I don't think they were. They're gone now. I knew it. Psychological warfare. I wonder what else changes. I think I just saw a different painting here. Oh, no, never mind. I thought that was like a weird shadow thing, but... Unless I did change shoe, that's also entirely possible. Was it 3 a.m.? I think so. Oh, you're tapping. Don't think that's breathing, though. So, yeah, I've yet to hear breathing, right? So, my clock should say what time it is. Getting close to the time where I die. Hopefully, I won't die this time. I would like to see you the other night. It'd be fantastic to see at least night two, and I'm sure that's when shit gets real. <sighs> see. Woo, okay, that, that made me jump a little bit. It's 4 a.m. Bad things are gonna happen in one hour. So I guess, like, geez, man, this is like what? Either the fourth time or fifth time I've played this. So maybe this first night is scripted and the other ones are random? Nothing yet. Alright. 5 a.m. Only a few more seconds here. Woo! See, like, the, the guys on the bed definitely aren't scripted. Or, they are... Yeah, they're definitely not scripted. Because I've... They do they do appear different. Okay, I haven't seen that before. That was actually a very fluid animation. I'm actually kind of impressed. 
Good job, guy. Let's see if there's an evil dude in my bed. In my closet. No, there's not. So... I don't know. See, I don't know what this breathing sounds like yet. I'm really concerned. Because it's just very rhythmic, right? It's like I click the door, I shine my flashlight, and I'm done. Like, I, I'm, I'm a little bit worried I'm going to see the dude. I'm just going to instinctively press the flashlight when I hear breathing and then immediately die. That's definitely possible. 5 a.m. Kind of surprised nothing's happened yet. I'm really curious what's going to be on my bed. All right, all right, all right. I did say before I was going to look up the name of the duck if I did record more of this, and I totally didn't. <laughs> I, I forgot completely. I hear talking on the radios. Suddenly I'm very hungry. I just, you know what, I just had the thought, this would be fun to do drunk, wouldn't it? I should have done that. Oh, well. Oh, well. There's going to be nothing else happening here. Woo! Oh, the, the game, or sorry, the night actually ends at 6 a.m. now. I don't know if it's second and third. Oh, crap, I just punched my mic. I don't know if this happened. Oh, God, that's so annoying. I don't know if this happened in the second and third one or not, but I know at least in the first one. Four days until the party! <laughs> I know in the first one, it wouldn't, like, it would say survive till 5 a.m. You know he's hiding again. I thought it said hitting you or something. Who's hiding? Why does Foxy not have a head? These are my friends! Where is he hiding? Huh? He won't stop until you find him. Is it, is it Golden Freddy over here? Oh! Leave the house. Well, there he is. He's on the clock now. Is Golden, Golden Freddy, what if he's actually a good guy? Wouldn't that be cool? Over there. Over there! Well, crap. Now I wonder what's the other way. Man. Oh! God dang it, Foxy! Tomorrow is another day! <laughs> Another day for what? For me to confront my fears and get terrified and fun with plush trap? Hold control, use flashlight. Use flashlight to stop plush trap on the X to skip two hours of the night. What's a plush trap? I don't know what a plush trap is, man. Whoa, what? There's different things? Oh, no. Okay, I just clicked out in the game here. Can I do anything? I can't do anything, it, it appears. Also, my mouse is gone. That was... Can okay, I move? I can't move either. I don't like that timer. I just keep the mouse like this forever? I mean, there's a countdown timer, so surely something good's gonna happen at when it hits zero, right? I survive one minute. Oh, God. The audio cut out. That's always a good sign. Is that supposed to happen? I don't think that was supposed to happen, was it? Maybe it is. Maybe it's just messing with me. It's probably just messing with me, to be fair. I don't feel like it should be happening. I feel like ambient noise should always be a thing in this game. I do gotta give kudos if this was planned, though. Because if that was actually planned... Then I gotta, I gotta say, like, that was clever. If this is planned, like I said, I don't know. I might have just broken the game. If you guys could hear sounds, then that's fantastic. That'd be great. Is this seriously it? Did I just I just gotta wait. I just gotta stare at this guy for freaking 80 seconds. Was it 80 seconds? I don't freaking know. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Too bad. I don't know what? What was I supposed to do? It said press X. Night two. Ah, uh, did the game freak out? I'm not hearing any audio, you guys. I might have broken the game. I broke the game! I can't hear a dang thing. I'll be right back, I guess. Dang it. All right, I'm back. It's another brand new day here in sunny California. <laughs> I don't live in California. I live in Canada. The land of snowy waste. All right, here we go. Has anything changed in my room? I don't think anything has. Hey, we have a... Oh, never mind. I thought that picture was new. Even though I'm not sure you guys could see that. All right. It's probably the night when shit gets real. First night was just an LOLJK night. So I guess the game broke. I, I don't know. I don't know why the audio decided to cut out on me like that. I'm, just, I'm looking into the camera. It looks like there's like something behind me or something. If there's like a, if I watch this back and there's a 
spoopy ghost like that one time. I thought I heard beating there. I probably shouldn't have turned on my flashlight. Like, there was one time I recorded a Scary Sunday where I did see a giant orb fly behind me. And it wasn't like a trick of the camera either because you can visibly see it go, like, from this side of the camera behind me. So it's like, if it was in front of me, then, yeah, the, you could argue that, yeah, just a piece of dust flew in front of the camera lens. But it flew behind me. So that's creepy. And I'm shivering. And if that happens... Ooh, if that happened just as I'm, like, talking about, like, if that just happened again when I watch this back, I'm going to pee my pants. <laughs> I pray that it doesn't. Alright. Corey's talking about that game, he shivers, and now I'm even more creeped out. I swear there's like... Some behind me, man, I swear. I think it's a fan. I have a fan behind me. Hey, that's actually all fitting, isn't it? I think that was breathing. Alright. I think I heard something walk away. Oh, no, I just freaking... Oh, I might have just messed that up. I just... Messed with the freaking size of the game by accident. I can't play this game in full screen. Which I don't understand why game developers do that. Alrighty then. Like why would you not want to play a horror game in full screen to completely immerse yourself? Like I can see my task bar. Oops. Don't why I don't know like. Yeah because you know I'm completely immersed in a game where I can see my task bar. No it's a lie I'm not. All right, so I think Hey asshole, I'm not gonna close my door anymore cuz I know your secrets. I know you for some reason kill me when I do it All right, so I think I heard breathing before it was pretty loud and distinctive thankfully Hey get out of here get out of here All right I swear, I'm seeing like a foot or something. Like, let's do this one more time here. When I leave, watch what happens. No, I don't think I am. It's like I'm seeing like a plushy foot. I'm not hearing any buttholes. I'm curious what happens if I don't look back at my bed occasionally and like make those assholes disappear. Does anything happen? I don't know. Hey, how's a little cupcake? I know, it's not my birthday. Get out of Get out of here. It's not my birthday. It's not. No. That happened months ago. That happened months ago. Beep. 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 Alright. I'm instinctively holding control when I go to these doors which turns on my flashlight. Which I know is a horrible idea. But I can't stop, man. Uh oh. I heard running feet. Sound like it was over here. Check this door. Hey, asshole, get out of here! This is a really weird spot to have a room, by the way. Because I'm assuming. I'm not hearing breathing. I heard footsteps, but not breathing. I'm hearing a lot of footy steps. Sounds like they're in my room. What was it? Oh, it's 4 a.m. now. What? It's like my closet. That's not a thing I've done in a while. <clears throat> Shouldn't I be able to look at my under my bed? Like, as a terrified child, you'd think looking under your bed would be the first spot you'd want to look, right? I'm not liking all this running around. I'm not a fan of it, actually. That's definitely not my, my tiny little pitter-pattering feet. Where I am, only two more hours. Freezes whenever it loads for some reason. It's really silly. 
Ah, oh, come on. It was like, what, 4 a.m., 5 a.m.? That's lame that I died then. I like to think I was doing pretty swell there. Seeing all the buttheads. I'm holding control, but it's not always working right away. That was weird. I, like, legged when I got to the door there. It took longer than usual to load. Sure is. You know, just slowly loading all the baddies into the game. That's what I thought. What happens if I keep my flashlight off? Do they just eat me? I hear the pitter-pattering of feet again. Stupid pittering-pattering. I don't think I really heard the breathing that time. I heard something that might have been breathing, but I, I guess it was because, you know, I died. <laughs> but, you know... Alright. Game like this is very hard to distinguish between breathing. Alright, feet over here! <laughs> I didn't hear breathing, man! There was no breathing! There was no breathing at all! <sighs> Try it again. I do gotta say, playing this game in the quiet without like commentating, it does it does scare me a bit more. The thing is, talking is really it distracts your mind from the horror of games, and maybe that's why horror games don't have much of an effect on me sometimes. So I gotta say, playing a horror game in the complete and like, ooh, I knew there's gonna be someone there for some reason. Did I just see something there? I I heard noises, but it wasn't breathing. Something about playing horror games in the dead silence of night is a lot more scary than, like, commentating over it. You know, it's kind of soothing to hear noise that isn't, like, you know, scary, spoopy skeleton noises. Yeah. As I was saying, this house's layout got to be weird. Like, if you turn right there, that probably leads to, like, the main door or something, right? That's the vibe I get from this house. And that, if you turn left there, I bet that also leads to, like, the main door. So, it's like, this house is just going to be a small circle. <laughs> then again, I guess we do get to see the house in the little, like, NES-style cutscenes. They're the, the, the pixel stuff we do, you know? Hey, Pika. I'm just going to call it different names till something sticks. I think it starts with a P, though. Ha <laughs> Get out of here, asshole. <sighs> I didn't hear breathing. I don't hear breathing, you guys. <sighs> I guess I'm going to call an episode there because I've clearly reached a spot where I can't get past. I don't know. I don't hear breathing. I heard breathing the one time. I don't hear breathing. <laughs> this is my complaint here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, the best way to support me is by leaving a like and subscribe if you had already. Uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys would like me to see me play more of this or another horror game, leave a comment down below. <laughs> Wiggly arms. I don't know why I was going to make, like, why I always got to go crazy when I do, like, face cam stuff. But, uh, yeah. I will see you guys next time. Bye bye I'm going to die tonight.